hi students in this video we will learn x plus a multiplied by x plus b this is an identity all right x plus a multiplied by x plus b what do we have what do we get okay let us see let us multiply each and every term x into x will give us x square we have plus and plus here so x into b will be plus x b isn't it plus a and plus x now a into x will give us a x plus into plus is plus okay now the last term a into b will give us a b okay all right so see see these two terms x b and a x what is common among these two terms x all right so let us take that x common if we take x common what are we left with here now b plus and here a will be left so it will be b plus a and we have plus a b here all right okay see multiply x into b will have x b only isn't it multiply x into a will have a x or x a all right so we can take x common from these two terms okay now b plus a is same as a plus b isn't it so in place of b plus a let us write a plus b so x square plus x into a plus b plus a b all right or we can write this x after a plus b also okay so it will be x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b okay so this is our identity if we multiply x plus a with x plus b we will have x square plus a plus b into x plus a b all right so what do we have we have x plus a multiplied by x plus b will give us x square plus a plus b into x plus a b okay x plus a multiplied by x plus b will give us x square plus a plus b into x plus a b all right let us uh, take one example let us take x plus 3 and x plus 2 all right so in place of x we have x and in place of a we have 3 and in place of b we have 2 here isn't it so x plus a x plus b is in fact x square plus a plus b into x plus a b isn't it so what will be x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 this will be equal to x square this first term x square plus it should be a plus b into x isn't it it should be a plus b into x but what is a value 3 in place of a we have 3 in place of b we have 2 so it it will be 3 plus 2 into x plus the last term is a b a multiplied by b so 3 multiplied by 2 because in place of a we have 3 and in place of b we have 2 so this will be equal to x square plus 3 plus 2 is 5 so it is 5x plus the last term 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 all right so x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 will give us x square plus 5x plus 6 all right x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 will give us x square plus 5x plus 6 okay